Welcome back to Gadget Girls. You're just in time for a segment we'd like to call Curious Gadgets. At some point, most of us have tried to lose weight and watch our figure. But what if there was a device that would help guide you to only put a certain amount of food on your plate? This Curious Gadget plans to put you in your place when it comes to portions. The mandolin is a scale that's connected to a measuring device that warns you when there's too much food on your plate. It has the potential to monitor your eating speed as well as your portion sizes. Based on your weight and health goals that you've pre-programmed, when this gadget reads that you have too much food on your plate or when you're eating too quickly, the scale prompts you to slow down and remove some of your meal. We wanted to see how this actually works, so we got our hands on one of their promotional videos. Let's take a look at the mandolin in action. Mandolin helps you lose weight by teaching you how to feel normal sensations of fullness. Welcome. Please log in. You put your plate on the scale, then you put your food on the plate. Mandolin is programmed to indicate how much you should eat to meet your goal and will guide you through your meal. Using mandolin will teach you proper eating behavior and allow you to attain a normal body weight. So if you're the type of person that needs to be reminded when you're filling up your plate with a little too much food or eating it too quickly, the mandolin might be the reminder that you need to help you keep your nutrition and diet on track. And if you're trying to keep your groove on track, then you're going to want to check this out. Carolyn was in our Gadget Girl studio earlier to get a lesson in digital music. This is not just your ordinary rhythm and sound. The Tenori On blends music with visual arts to create a new and unique way to experience your favorite melodies. So, get ready to see the sound of the 21st century. Have you ever wondered what the future looks like for musical instruments? Well, today we're going to find out. We have Ben Harrison with us today in studio on Gadget Girls, and he's going to tell us all about this unique little device called the Tenori On that's capturing the attention of music lovers everywhere. Ben, can you tell us a little bit about what the Tenori On does and what makes it so unique? Essentially, this is a visual musical interface uh, designed as a, as a MIDI, almost like a step sequencer. So you've got time going across this way, pitch going this way for the most part and uh, you basically just draw in your notes using the LED lights that are on the, on the front and back of the machine. So you mentioned that this device utilizes MIDI interface. And for those unfamiliar, this basically is a musical instrument digital interface that a bunch of instruments have this common language amongst each other and they can share various tones and compositions and, and so on and so forth. Yeah, so uh, what, the, what MIDI enables you to do is to connect this with the, with the proper cables to another keyboard or a drum machine or a computer and trigger the sounds on another machine using this as oh, your controller. Okay. How it works is I'm going to visually input musical information, note data, using these LED buttons on the front. And as you can see on the back, there are lights that represent what I'm doing on the front. So if I push the start button, Okay. Um, what we've got here is the sound of a happy face that I've just punched in on the front. <laughs> now, it sounds very random. Yep. So what I'm going to do is select another layer, which I've done just by using the control button here and pushing the layer that I want here. So there's a set of buttons on each side that you can help control which layers you want to use. Exactly, okay. yes. So now for each layer, I can select a different sound. So for this one, I'm going to select a sound that I've loaded into this spot here. And that'll enable me to put in Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> a drum beat. So now something that's random has turned into an organized piece of music. Exactly. You know, to take it a step further, I can now go in and select my bass sound and add that in there. I feel like I'm at a nightclub right now. <laughs> you are, essentially, yeah. <laughs> and from here I can go in and I can change the length. And so on. So have you created your own compositions? Yeah, in fact, that's an improvised piece right there. We just oh, made wow. that up on Very the spot. Nice. So. What, can I save this composition so that I don't lose it and have to press clear? Of course, yeah. You can record it uh, with the SD card that's built into the, there's a slot here for an SD. Yeah. And then I can go into the menu and hit the recording menu and start, and it'll just record the entire performance as a song. 
Now, do you require a musical background in order to play this thing, and do you need that theory that you normally do in piano and guitar and that type of instrument? I would uh, say instrument? no, probably not. Um, <laughs> it does help because it just sort of helps you eliminate uh, the trial and error portion of it, but it's, uh, it's you know, you can really do anything. You should probably just do something with it. Can I don't I know it? if you have musical background or not. I used to play piano, but... Uh, okay to start. Okay. And now you just start punching notes in there wherever you like them. Now what if I, can I like draw on this with various, uh, with my fingers and, and make create, a pattern? Of course, yeah. If we switch the layer, okay. and then we go to one of the draw modes, and you just run your fingers along it the way you like, and that'll just repeat it. <laughs> that definitely makes it a lot more fun. Yeah, and if you don't like what you did, there's a clear button. Okay, Gone. and that just eliminates the whole thing altogether. All right, Ben, so this device seems pretty futuristic. It looks very fancy. Where do you see the future of um, this type of technology going? Where is music going to be in five to ten years from now? Who knows, really? You know, the the technology is uh, is advancing. There's different companies making different instruments all over the place um, and being inspired by each other, and it just keeps growing and growing and growing. It's, uh, the possibilities are endless, and it's, uh, it's really exciting to see where it's going to go. So. Well, thank you very much for joining us today on the show, Ben. For all you music lovers out there who are dying to learn to play a new instrument, but you haven't figured out where you want to begin, the Tenorion might be that perfect, fun, new, and exciting place for you to begin.